Midwest 2 News at 11. Two big breaking stories at 11. The main suspect in this shocking case of biker road rage arrested and charged. But first, U.S. commandos raid two countries on the hunt for two of the world's most wanted terrorists. Good evening, I'm Cindy Shu. Two separate operations carried out by U.S. troops today in Africa. One in Somalia, the other in Libya. Both targeting terror suspects with ties to Al-Qaeda. One appears to have been a success. The other, the outcome is unclear at this hour. Two missions on one continent, separated by 3,000 miles, but with a common goal. Swoop in for men believed to be leaders within Al-Qaeda and its affiliates. In Libya, the target was Anas Alibi on the FBI's most wanted list for the 1998 U.S. Embassy bombings in Kenya and Tanzania. A U.S. official wishing to remain anonymous says Alibi has been captured. The mission reportedly took place in Tripoli. Alibi's relatives say he was parking outside his home when three vehicles surrounded him, smashed his car window, and grabbed him. There has long been a $5 million bounty on his head, and he has been indicted here in New York for his alleged involvement in the embassy bombing. As for the offensive in Somalia, it took place in the small coastal town of Barawi, and the intended target may have been killed. Sources say Navy SEALs were looking for a specific terror suspect due to the Nairobi shopping mall attack two weeks ago. That person may be the leader of the al-Qaeda outgrowth al-Shabaab. His name is Mukhtar Abu Zubayr. He's claimed responsibility for the mall attack, citing Kenya's interference in Somali politics. The New York Times quotes a senior U.S. official who says the SEALs believe they killed their target, but they were forced to withdraw before they could be sure. At this hour, the Pentagon says there were al-Shabaab casualties in Somalia. Also, that no Americans were killed or injured in the mission. Now, more now on Anas al-Libi, the suspect believed to be captured in Libya today. He's believed to be a computer specialist for al-Qaeda. He was arrested in England a year after the 1998 embassy attacks, but was released because of lack of evidence. Before today, there were several reports that the U.S. captured him or was even holding him in a secret CIA prison, but the government denied those reports.